I'm Madison, and welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. Today I'm going to show you how I decorated a wood tissue box holder from Michaels. You can get this tissue box holder for $6.49, but Michaels always has a coupon, so use it for a coupon and get it for way cheaper. Everything I use will be listed in the description box below. Let's do it. The first thing you want to do is remove the bottom panel from the tissue box. I want my tissue box holder to be a color block of different shades of pink, so I'm going to mix some new colors up. Paint your tissue box entirely and wait till it dries before you move on to the next step. Once your paint is dry, you're going to need some Mod Podge. You'll also need gold leaf sheets or premium copper leaf sheets like I'm using. Since I'm going for a kind of messy chic feel, I am using a foam brush and blotting the Mod Podge on randomly. Now you want to wait 5 minutes before you start applying your gold leaf so the Mod Podge can kind of get a little bit tacky. These gold leaf sheets are very thin and they tear very easily, so don't let it stress you out. I'm just ripping pieces off and tapping my finger over it so it presses into the Mod Podge. If you don't want to touch it, you can use a piece of parchment or wax paper and dab at it. You also want to make sure that for the most part, everything lays down flat, so you can go back in with a little bit of Mod Podge and your foam brush and gently swipe down the weird ends. And of course, you can also adhere bigger pieces of gold leaf to your tissue box. I'm going for a messy, kind of shabby look, so I'm taking my finger and kind of rubbing random places of the gold leaf, and don't worry, it easily comes off your fingers. And yes, this is so much fun to do. I cannot wait to gold leaf everything. I have 25 sheets in that pack from Michaels. It's a really good buy. So now I'm just using this little scraper tool to take off some big edges, move it around, kind of make it even more messy. And then again, going back with my foam brush and kind of dabbing down the ends. Now I'm using white acrylic paint and a toothbrush to give my tissue box holder some splatter. All you do is take your thumb or your fingers and kind of flick the paint off and it gives it a really cool effect. Once you're done, it's always good to seal it all in, so I'm using my favorite spray, the Clear Acrylic Sealer from Mod Podge. Also, don't forget to paint the edge of the little slide on the bottom. Okay, now you just gotta take the slide off, slip the tissues in, slide it back on, and now your tissues have style. Oh yeah, look at that. So much nicer than the real box. Okay, now besides making a really cool one for yourself, I feel like this is a really good gift for a grandma, from a grandkid. You know, your kid can finger paint all over it. They don't need to use gold foil. They can do whatever. This is just a really good, substantial, nice, thoughtful, potentially homemade gift. So even if you're not going to paint in gold leaf like I did, I think this is a really good budget-friendly gift to give to pretty much everyone because everyone uses tissues. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more crafts. If I inspired you in any way to make a tissue box holder of your own, please tag me at madcrafty on Instagram so I can see what you made. And if you're sick, feel better. Bye!